Hey y'all, I am back with another video. So guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make Louisiana style red beans. And here are all the ingredients you're gonna need for this dish. So of course you're gonna need some red beans. I'm gonna be using butter, chicken bouillon, parsley flakes, Tony's Creole seasoning, cayenne pepper, slap your mama seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, smoked paprika. Also, I'm going to be using some smoked ham hock sausage. I'm also going to be using some, um, the veggie seasoning blend of, which consists of green onion, onion, celery, and green bell pepper. So we're going to be cooking our red beans inside of our pressure cooker um, today. So we're going to go ahead on and put it on and we're going to start sauteing our veggies, y'all. So we're going to go uh, um, press salty and it's already on high, y'all. Yeah, it's already on high. And we're going to press start and we're going to go ahead on and let that start warming up. All right, y'all. So I'm getting ready to saute our veggies, y'all. So I'm adding my butter. Alright y'all, so we got our butter melting down. So I'm going to go ahead uh, and drop our veggies in. I'm going to go ahead and let that stuff stay down, y'all. Alright y'all, so our season um, cooked down enough to the point, you know, that I wanted to put down to. So I'm gonna go ahead on and add the sausage in. And I'm gonna let that go just for a little while. And once this cooked down a little bit, I'm gonna um, add our beans in and our ham. All right, y'all, so as y'all can see, the sausage and the um, seasoning cooked down really good. I'm actually gonna get one, y'all. Mmm, so good. It's so good. Mmm. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna go ahead on and add my beans in. I already washed them up. Whenever y'all adding y'all, um, before y'all add y'all beans, make sure that y'all wash y'all beans real good, y'all, and take the old ones out because one, one, um, old bean messed up the whole entire dish, y'all. And y'all don't want to do that. Like, why would you mess them pretty red beans up? Like, some good old red beans. Why would you mess it up? Just go ahead on and just let your kids, let hubby, let somebody pick them out while you, you know, prepping other things. So, um, now I'm about to go ahead on and drop my ham hock in there. Put it all down in there, y'all, really good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the water, y'all. And I'm only going to add enough water just to cover the beans up. We don't want to add too much. So let me stir it up real quick a little bit and see what we got going. Might have to add just a little bit more water. Let's see. Yeah, we're going to have to add some more water. Because clearly, there's not enough water. And then once we add our water, I'm going to go ahead and start seasoning our beans, y'all. I don't want to put too much water, y'all, because we want these beans to be creamy, y'all. So we don't want to over, we don't want to put too much water because we want to make sure that these beans come out really creamy and not so much water down. So I think I'm going to add just a little bit more that I have in here or the rest of it that I have in here. And I think that's going to be it, y'all. Everything is pretty covered at this point. So now I'm gonna go ahead on and set our um, set our pot and then I'm gonna season it real quick. So we're gonna take it off of um, saute and oh, we're gonna cancel it first. Then we're gonna go to our pressure cooker and we're gonna put, make sure it's on high, it's on high. Now we're gonna put this up to an hour. All right, so we're gonna start letting this cook for an hour. We're gonna press start. All right, 
I'm gonna be using this is right here. This is the chicken uh, bouillon. I'm only gonna use a little bit, y'all. I like to use this pretty much like um, it's pretty much like if you're using um, chicken broth, but I just like to use a little bit of this because it brings really good flavor to the dish, which I absolutely love. We're gonna go ahead on and just start adding the seasonings that I mentioned earlier in the video. And this is our smoke paprika. I like to add a little bit more of the smoked paprika, y'all, to get that smoky flavor, y'all. I'm telling y'all, these beans are better than Popeyes. This is a garlic powder. I usually use um, fresh garlic. Every time I go to the store, for some reason, I, I'm forgetting to pick up um, the garlic. So that's why I haven't been using them as much in my videos is because I be, I'm always forgetting to pick them up. But I promised myself this time that I'm gonna remind, make my little reminder so that I don't um, forget to pick it up. Cause I'm like, it's okay to use garlic powder, but fresh, everything fresh y'all is always better. So I add some onion powder and garlic powder. Now I'm gonna add some cayenne pepper, give us a little heat. So this is Slap Your Mama season. I'm only gonna use a little bit, not gonna use too much. Wait, if I can get it to come out. So I'm not gonna use too much because remember I said that that um, chicken bouillon has a lot of seed, uh, salt in it and also I will smoke ham hock and I will sausages have um, also have salt in it. So by the time all that cook down, y'all, if you don't be careful with the amount of seasoning you put, you're gonna have some salty beans and we definitely don't want that. Again, like I mentioned before, it's better to be under seasoned than over seasoned, y'all, because you can always fix something that's under, but you cannot undo something that's over. So right now I'm just basically adding some parsley y'all and that is it for our seasoning y'all well, i'm gonna mix this up just a little bit and then we're gonna let it do what it do y'all we're gonna let it do what it do boo i think i'm gonna go ahead on and add just a little bit more water y'all only because we have this ham hock and this ham hock up in here is so big i want to make sure that you know we don't just have beans we want to make sure we have some juice in them Cause I like the juice from the beans, y'all. Like that gravy. I like it to make that creamy, thick glue. Yeah, yeah. That's what I like. Whenever you're doing this, you want to make sure that the water cover your beans. Okay. Excuse me, y'all. If my hand is in the way, I'm trying to mix it. And we're gonna add just a little bit. All right. Everything is covered up. All right. So. We're gonna put our lid on. And we're gonna let this thing do what it do, boo. We have it on high, and right now it's heating up and it's doing its thing. And in one hour, we should have some Louisiana style, some Louisiana Cajun style red beans, y'all. Stay tuned, boo. Y'all, look how creamy they came out. Y'all, they look so good. I cannot wait to dig in. So y'all, this was this is um two pounds of red beans, y'all. I let it cook for an hour, and I added some ham hocks in there, y'all. And when I tell y'all the ham hock just took this to a whole nother level, when I tell y'all the ham hock, y'all is a game changer. And y'all usually I take like a cup or two of the red beans out of the um pot. And I kind of like smash it up, sort of like a um, puree um, type of texture or whatever. And I like pour it right back into the beans and it helps make it even more creamier. But I feel like I don't need to do that with this one. It actually came out creamy on its own. And I cannot wait, y'all. So I'm gonna go ahead on and plate this up and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how it look. Oh my goodness, y'all. Like, you can't get no better than that, y'all. Like. This is already, look at this, y'all. This is like magazine beautiful, y'all. Like, check out the look, y'all. Don't worry, don't, don't even worry about the paper plate, y'all. Just get at the look of it. 
Look at the creaminess of it, y'all. Absolutely beautiful. Yes, get into it. All right, y'all. So this is it for this video, y'all. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to see more videos like so, make sure you turn your notification bell on so you'll be notified every time I upload a new recipe or just a video. And yeah, I will see you beautiful people in my next one.